Hi and welcome back. Uh, this is a uh, really quick video of what I've been spending the last couple of weeks on. Um, I've taken the character part of the game and done all the integration that I wanted to do with it and then put it back into the game project. So to do that I made a blank project with ALS uh, Advanced Locomotion System version 4, ALS version 4. And then from there I put in the bits that I wanted to which were part of character integration, which is the melee part of it. I wanted that piece. Um, the inventory, which I'm using advanced weapon and inventory for. The pistol, which I'm using weapon pistol factory for, because that's modular, so we can add all the bits as we go through the game. Uh, Qubits uh, ballistic FX, which is, uh, I just love it. So uh, that needed to go in, that was always the plan. And um, yeah, I think that's all of it. So um, the core part is ALS version four. And I kept the camera system because I actually like that camera system. I know a lot of people disable it and then use a third person camera uh, on a boom or whatever, and then or different cameras. But I kept uh, the ALS animated camera system. I just went through the whole of ALS uh, step by step to try and learn how it all works. Um, I might have regretted that a few times in the last couple of weeks, but um, yeah, it took a lot of hours, but uh, I managed to get it all together, um, which results in this. And, and this probably just looks like normal gunplay, but if anybody's tried to use ALS4 and then uh, integrate uh, bits in it how you want it to work, um, then it is quite a challenge, but I'm, uh, I'm pleased with the way it's gone. So ALS4, my own wrapper, um, and then the other bits, just the parts of other pieces that I wanted to put in, but my wrapper really does the gun um, play because um, I wanted to spend quite a lot of time on the, the way the bullets work and the way the guns should work like they're uh, more realistic, shall we say. So anyway, enough of me uh, waffling on. So the normal locomotion is ALS4 still, so you've still got the same, oops, I'm try again, right, and then you've still got the same um, mechanics in the uh, in the locomotion system and still got my footsteps and um, bits of obs working but if we uh, go um, actually no hang on let's pick up a weapon so let's pick up our pistol and let's pick up some ammo for that and then uh, let's pop it in its holster there we go right now then this doesn't use um, character integration per se but it does for melee so I can still break out of ALS into uh, character integration for the, the melee stuff, which is what I wanted to do. Back into ALS for the locomotion. And then smoothly blend in the weapon play, because this is Weapon Pistol Factory, this is a blueprinted weapon. And it's, um, yeah, blending this into ALS was took hours. But now I've got a right camera, uh, I can go uh, left camera, I can, um, Swap between those two easily, and all the reload animations will work as well. And uh, so right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, and um, some climb as well on the recoil. And if we uh, if we pop into um, first person, and then aim down sights, that works too. You'll notice the spread on this weapon is pretty bad, but then I wanted it that way, because don't forget this is our first weapon, so it's not supposed to be that accurate, and you need to upgrade it to uh, to improve on that. But if you take your time, this is why it's not easy. I've tried to make this quite realistic, so it's not really arcade as such. You've got to think about what you're doing. But if you get your aiming right, even at long range, you can still allow for the weapon, the, the bullet drop. That's right, and then allow for the bullet drop. That's left camera. And then if we go into first person again, and Let's steady this a bit with a bit of slow-mo. If we get this just on his head, aim down the sides, bang. And yeah, we dropped him. So yeah, you need to um, you need to think about what you're doing and think about it like a real firearm and what the bullet would really do. Um, I don't really know a lot about it, but I've read a bit and tried to make this as realistic as, uh, as possible. Um, I need to, um, right, the, the, the blood should splatter on this, I need to, there's a bit more work to do on the, the blood splattering. Um, and there's a little bit of work for me to do on the transition of the first person camera so you don't go through his eyeballs because that's quite freaky but uh, that's an easy one to fix. 
So um, yeah, anyway, a uh, bit of um, FX, so this is Cubit's um, Ballistic FX, which is wonderful, uh, incorporated that too. Um, what else can we do? I don't know, have a bit of fun with the, um, but you can also um, pop it in, I should say, yeah, you can uh, pop into um, the single handed as well, and this all works as well, so left and right, first person works, as do the uh, animations for reload. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're single handed or you didn't really see that very well, did you? Hang on. So let's climb out. So the reload works in single handed and the reload works in uh, two handed as well. So this all looks simple, but trust me, it takes hours to uh, get this to, to work like this. Well, I think it's well worth it. Um, you do need to take your time, so a bit of fun with it, slow mo, you can never beat a bit of uh, slow mo, can you? with um, tracer work and um, yeah but you know it's taken me oh, just so long and uh, several times I got stuck because the aim offsets are really quite difficult to do um, so that you because if you look if I shoot the floor you see I'm still accurately accurately hitting the center of the cross there allowing for the spread and the inaccuracy of the weapon that I've built in but so this, this pitch and yaw that you need to build in, and it's all done with ALS using their cameras, it's all done in the animation graph, it's, it, it's um, yeah, it's quite rewarding when you get it to work, but um, I'm pretty happy with it. So the ballistics work pretty realistically. Um, anyway, there you go, just thought I'd show you it. So this can all go back in the game now and we can uh, carry on. And uh, we're happy. And we've got a true first person as well. Um, that's all done with the camera. Just the way this camera works, is, yeah, it took me hours. But um, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's enough of me going on. Let's get it back in the game and I'll make another video of it. Uh, some real action play with the AI and everything from that first level. Um, as always, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.